Steve Dotto here. Thanks for spending time with me today. Today, our productivity uh, video is going to be a little more vertical focused than normal. I'm focusing on the education market because it is back to school time, that great time of year when kids are heading back to school and the world of opportunity lies before them. Now, the tool that I'm going to show you today is a communication tool that allows teachers to text students or to email students or their parents and remind them of assignments or things that are going to be required for class. Now, on the surface, you think, oh my gosh, teachers should not be texting students because they should not be sharing personal information. They shouldn't have each other's phone number. And parents certainly shouldn't have teachers' mobile phone numbers where they can harass them or do anything else. So there has to be this line. We, have to, we need this privacy uh, line that should not be crossed. That is true. We should not be doing it. But here's the bottom line. Texting is a great tool for this sort of communications. Studies have proven that students who get texted the, or get, get sent a text reminding them of assignments complete a much higher percentage of their homework. So it's good for education. So how do we, how do we handle this? Enter the folks at Remind 101. What a great concept and solution they've come up with. And it's free. Here's what happens. I've signed up. I, let me just walk you through it and show you what happens. But basically, it anonymizes the texting going back and forth and allows me to send group texts to a class. So I've set it up as though I'm a teacher. And actually, look, they, they call me Mr. Dotto. I like that. And I'm pretending I teach Math 10. So I've signed up for free. I, it was a very quick registration process. And now I'm into the, kind of the enrollment process, setting it up. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send a text to the number that they have here. So let me call up my phone and let me put in that number. It is 604-227-2039. And then in my message, I am supposed to send at math10bl. I believe that's an L, not a one. So I'm going to go send. It sent the text to that address. And now we go back to the website and it says it got it. And it says, please reply with your name. Oh, go back to my, go back to my uh, phone. Here it is. This is the text that just came in. Thanks. Mr. Dotto needs to know who you are before adding you to Math 10 BL. So please reply with your full name. So I'm just going to put in Steve. Steve D. And I'm going to go send. Got it. Please reply with your name. Okay. So send yourself a simple message. So now using the web interface here, I can send a message to the entire class that's registered for this page completely anonymously. So, so I'm going to say, do your homework. Homework. Be smart. Mr. Dotto rules. Okay. Send. I've sent that out. And now let's go back to my phone and let's take a look. And there it is. Mr. From Mr. Dotto, colon. Do your homework. Be smart. Mr. Dotto rules. So that way there, we can send text messages back and forth. Now there's an app that installs on the phone, but look at the, what the web interface alone does. It has just some very simple functions for adding new classes. So you can set this up individually for each of the classes that you teach. And I think you could also use this beyond just pure educational environment. You could be using this for workshops, for texting people in workshops and keeping, keeping privacy and all that sort of stuff in, in other areas. But primarily in the, in the, in the K-12 school system, this is going to be tremendous. They've got a, a little bit of proselytizing here, introducing it to fellow teachers, which would be a great idea. I, I've got to tell you, I'm, as you can tell, pretty excited about this product. Over here, we have the subscribers list. So this shows you all of the people who are subscribed, all of the people who are subscribed to my list. So if I was a teacher, I would probably set up a math C, a math 10 block C student list, and then I'd set up a math 10 block C parents list so that I could also communicate with the parents back and forth. And they could also then text me at any time and the texts appear in my, in my interface here as well. So they also, this a uh, couple of other notes, this works on all smart, all phones, 
uh, that, uh, that handle texting, not just smartphones. So it works on all phones that handle texting. And if people want, they can also opt in and use this as email instead of, uh, instead of texting if they don't have a texting enabled phone. And they've got a nice little set of instructions here on how people subscribe to your class. So you can give this to your students and have them enter it so that they can very easily register. So on your first day of class, on the first day of school, this would be just a graphic that I would put up, uh, share it with my students, and then you can have your entire students able to be texted at any time. Is this outstanding? I think this is outstanding. I hope you found today's video to be useful. Uh, and please share it with other parents, share it with teachers, share it with uh, any principals you know or any administrators in the school system. This is a tool that teachers will be thrilled to use. It will make the students' lives better. It will help kids stay on task a little more effectively. It's really a win, 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 win situation. Thank you very much, folks at Remind 101. I hope you found this video to be useful. If you have, please give us a like and, and also subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. I certainly appreciate you spending time with me today. I'm Steve Dotto. We'll see you next week.